So in this video, we'll be working on implementing the search feature. So whenever the user types in something, uh, we'll be searching through multiple columns like the student's name, email address, phone number, and we'll be also and we'll also be implementing the relationships, searching through the relationships. So uh, the user can also type the certain class and section and search for those uh, and search for those related students. So let's go ahead to our Visual Studio code and define a property. So search property. So for that, let's go to the script part and define a search variable which will be empty by default. And let's model it in our input, so which is Okay, let me just collapse these so our pagination part has been done and we also don't need this for now so this is the search so let's we model this with the search variable this is done save that and okay let's go ahead and reload our browser and see whether our v model is working or not so if i go ahead and so search is empty if i go ahead and type name then as you can see it is reflected here so everything is working fine and now what we need to do is in our get students model let's duplicate these and here what i want to send is i want to send a variable called q and then I want to send the search value on these parameters. So we are sending the get request and here I'm sending the query. So now let's go to our controller and let's receive that value. So we can name that as search term will be request with the value of q and that will be empty by default and now what we need to do is i'll be using scopes here so defining a scope on the model and then calling that scope on the query so while we are querying we'll be using that scope to search through the database so let's go ahead to our model so student.php and define a function so scopes are generally uh, prefixed with the va value scope and then the actual search term. So in this case, I'll be using search and this will receive two parameters. The first is the query and the second is the term itself. So we will be using that query builder to query through the, our database, so query through the students table. So here what I want to do is the first thing that I want to do here is I want to wrap our search term with the percentage sign so that it will search for the similar names like the term. And now the next thing that we need to do is I want to use the query and let's make a where request. So where and we'll be passing a closure here not this but a function which is going to receive the query itself and i also want to use the term and here what i want to do is i want to search through the database query where the name is like our term and let's change this to multiple columns and okay I made a mistake so here we can also append or where since we are searching through multiple columns so or where i want to search through the email so the email is like this term and now let's also search through the address search through the phone number and in order to search through the relationships what we need to do is we can use or where 
has so or where has is gonna receive of uh, the first parameter which is the relationship name and the second parameter we are gonna pass a function just like above so function this is gonna re receive the query as a parameter and also want to use the term and let's wrap this inside the brackets and here i want to run the query so now we are inside the relationship instance so inside the class model so here we can uh, append or where clauses like this so for now i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna search through the name so the name of the class i'm gonna search the class name the name is like this search term and okay we need the semicolon here and i'm gonna append one more so what i'm gonna do is i'll just copy this remove this and i want to search through this section as well so or where has the section function use function query use term the name is like this term so this should work fine let's save that and so this is going to return so query where so this is going to actually uh, automatically return all the values that this executes and in our students controller now what we can do is we can actually call these query scope by its name since we defined it as scope search so we can actually call the search function and let's pass that search term so i'm using the trim function here so what it is basically gonna do is it will remove all the white spaces from our term and then and it will uh, and we'll pass that term to our search scope so now let's go ahead and see that in action in our students dot index dot view what we are doing is we are calling the get student function and in here we are passing a query as query uh, we are passing a query parameter with the value of this search so whatever we have in our input search we'll be passing that in our query parameter and in our students controller dot php we are receiving that parameter uh, as a search term and then passing that to a scope so this is this scope is a function and this function is being executed in our model where we are running the query so query where the name is like this term or where the email is like this term so the receive parameter or the address or phone number or the class so we are searching through class relationship here so we need to define the relationship class and section as you can see we have the class and section so this is gonna search through the class and section so respective uh, class and section table and it is gonna search the name where the name is like the received parameter and then it is going to re uh, return all the records automatically so we don't need to do anything uh, returning the, the returning part is all automatically done so now what we can do is let's go ahead in our browser so we have one more thing uh, we need to implement and i want to show you the network tab here so if i type in something and enter okay this is not going to do anything so what we need one more thing that we need to do here is whenever we make any changes to our search term where's that so whenever we make any changes to this search value then we want to run a function so in order to run that function we need uh, we need to watch through this search property so for that let's go to our watchers so we have a uh, watch implemented for the paginate the next one is for the search so the the way we define a watcher is by actually calling the property name so this is gonna receive the value but we don't need that so here what we will be doing is we'll again call the get students function so whenever the uh, any value in the search property changes then we'll be calling this get student function and it is going to execute this api call and then when they when we receive the response then it is going to assign those values 
to the student's property that we have defined in our view so this should work fine and we have an error here i don't know what kind of error is this module not found error count resolve view editor bridge in c users okay so we had an error where i when i was writing the function then it imported an func function package or i don't know what is this but we need to remove this and yeah let's save that and everything should work fine now let's go ahead and reload our browser and now when i type suppose mr then it is going to search through all the fields and return the matching values so let's test some more things so if i type in adam then it is going to returning the query return a uh, query searching through the email values return that match with the email field let's type 2504041 that's working let's type 585 working and also let's also check out the relationship searching so if i type in class one then okay we are getting all the values that belong to class one and let's also type section a and we are getting all the values of section a okay that's good that's working fine so our search functionality is working fine and one more thing that i want to implement here is since we are making so many requests to the server while we are searching through the relationships or while we are searching through the data tables so what i want to do here is we can actually do one thing that is we can use bind that with a value called vmore.lazy so what it, it will basically do is if i go ahead and now if i go ahead and, and type in class one then any change in the input field will make a api, API request so if i type in now if i type enter then it is going to make a make an api request instead of making an api request on every keystroke so this drastically reduces the amount of requests we send to the server and yeah that's one of the optimization that we can implement so this was it for this video and in the next video we'll be working on filtering the data filtering the students by class and section so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next one